Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your What's Happening in 2024 reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Sagittarius. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. So my intentions for this reading, Sagittarius, is to just dive on in and see what's going on in 2024, what to expect, what is happening, what to prepare for. And this can impact any aspect of your life. I'll try to hit on all of them, but love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution. But whatever spirit wants to talk about for you, Sagittarius, will be said. So if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, maybe even pass down loved ones, you're welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear and set the energy and see if there's any meditation messages that spirit wants me to communicate before we pull the cards. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pull, go ahead and check the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. All right, let's go ahead and take a deep breath. And tune into the energy of Sagittarius. What an interesting vision. I don't think I've ever had qu anything quite like that, but what I saw was a hot tub first. It was like me sitting in this hot tub or whoever I was seeing through the eyes of. And so I wonder if like in 2023, you felt like you were in hot water a bit. Like there was a lot of drama. There was a lot of, um, you know, situations that people were talking about you in regards to Sagittarius. But with this like hot tub, it was just like, you know what? I'm good. I'm fine. I, you know, with where I'm at right now, I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to surrender a bit. And it looked like even like the hot tub was in like, like around or in like a snow cabin, not around, but like the surrounding areas was like snow and it was cold and it was dark. And then got out of the hot tub and it was still cold, but got a towel wrapped around me. And then I go up to the sliding glass door and I like knock. And at first someone didn't come at the first knock, but when I knocked again, someone let me in and it just felt so warm. It felt like the cabin had like a long fire. And I feel with that, like already, I wonder if someone is going to be more apparent in your life, Sagittarius, to help you out. And this felt like a very strong helping hand, someone that you really feel supported by, someone that you really trust, wants to help you, wants to come into your life to give you connections, to give you support. And that's something that I feel you haven't had in a quite a bit or felt open to having because of maybe the hot water you were in previously. Um, this could also be a spirit guide of yours, Sagittarius, that you're becoming a lot closer to. It felt like, um, you know, I'm never usually gender specific, but it felt very uh, masculine male energy for some of you guys. And it was like, don't worry, I got you. You're not going to be alone. You're not going to be, you know, uncared for. So I wonder if this is like a new friend, a new romance, or even like a spirit guide that you've always had. And they're here for you, Sagittarius. Call upon them. I'm seeing the letter D, as in Daniel, as in, um, you know, Danielle, first, middle, last initial may mean something to someone, whether that's your spirit guide or that's even your initials. But I feel as if, like, in 2024, you're coming into this warmer time, into this safer period for you especially after anything you've been through in 2023 that was a little bit chaotic that you had to sit through. Wow, okay. 
powerful vision, really. I Like I said, I've never really experienced it through the eyes of the person I'm tuning in, but that was really cool. So let's go ahead and get into the cards and see what themes are happening for Sagittarius. What is going on? What does Sagittarius need to know about 2024? The moon. Okay, and it says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Sagittarius, what you were not able to make sense of, what you couldn't see, will be shown to you. You can trust what you're picking up on in 2024, any intuitive gut feelings. And you know, a lot of this is around choices, Sagittarius, I feel. That maybe you didn't feel confident in making before, you always guess, second guessed your intuition, didn't know if like how you're feeling was something that was accurate, but 2024 is gonna prove to you, Sagittarius, you have a vision, you have a strong intuition that you can use to guide you. And I do feel anything secretive that was around will be revealed. I do feel that through being discerning about the energies around you, the people around you, you're going to be able to quickly make up your mind a lot quicker than you have been in 2023. Um, I'm feeling very strong Pisces energy, Cancer energy. You could have those signs in your chart or that those signs could be around you in regards to helping you, guiding you. Definitely for a lot of you awakening here with the moon. I do feel very strong third eye chakra opening. I do feel crown chakra opening here. So spirit is sending you signs, Sagittarius. And I even feel like you've been seeing a lot now, specifically having to do with the moon. And pay attention to the full moons and the new moons that are going on in 2024 for you guys, because I do feel that they're around those times are going to be very impactful for you, particularly around the full or new moon in Pisces, Cancer, or Sagittarius. Maybe major decisions will need to be made around those times, but you have a feeling about something already, Sagittarius. Whether that's a good feeling about 2024, a feeling about what you need to start in 2024, and absolutely pay attention to that feeling because that is God send. All right? Tell me more about 2024 for Sagittarius. A lot to be revealed is what I'm hearing here. A lot to be revealed. Yeah. Oh, ooh. wow. Okay, now you guys got the leader, which is the sun card. Very strong Leo energy. Again, you could have strong Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with the Leo. I lead from the heart. Yes, this is so beautiful. This works so well with the moon here. You're leading with, you know, I wonder if I'm tuning into an energy of Sagittarians that overthink a lot and always kind of second guessed what they felt was right because the logic didn't line up or it, you know, you couldn't see the evidence in the 3D, but you felt something so strongly about the 5D, but Sagittarius, like I said, and have been saying, whatever you're feeling strong about is something you're guided to do and something about being in a leadership role even. So I wonder if you guys are creating a new life for yourself, having some, it feels almost like trailblazing type of energy here. You are the leader of it. You are the instigator of it. And with this flock of geese here, I do feel you have that power and potential in 2024. If you guys have been like falling apart in relationships, have been kind of, um, you know, retiring from relationships, let's just say, you're meeting a lot of new people in 2024. Soul tribe is what I'm hearing. People will be guided and inspired to follow you. So I wonder if some of you guys, um, you know, making big life choices that are in the direction of moving forward, or even with the geese migrating, like you could be thinking about moving to another city, to another state, to another country. And if you felt like that was right because where you're living currently, you're not vibing with the people, um, you're gonna meet that a lot better of a vibration from people in the city, state, country that you want to move to, but you have the potential to be a leader in 2024, Sagittarius. And the best part about this is that you're not just a leader to be bossy, to be in power, but 
it's almost feels like people are going to look up to you because what you're doing is so inspiring. It's like you're the people's choice type of energy. And this could go from, you know, being on social media or even in very small type of ways, like the people who you still have relationships with are going to be inspired by you. That's amazing. And it says confident, brilliant, purposeful, courageous, committed, authentic, positive, inspiring, passionate, empowered, visionary, vital, integrous, and trustworthy. So these people are definitely coming into your life. And that's kind of what I was feeling in the vision too, of that person opening, you know, the sliding glass door for you to come in and feeling that warmth. I, but yeah, these are the people that are going to be by your side, Sagittarius, whether this is, you know, currently in your life or who you're to meet. But, you know, I just feel like you're taking a part of your power back or you're uncovering a piece of yourself that maybe had to be dimmed because of the people around you, because of the drama that you were going through in 2023. This that energy that you've been kind of stifling within has powerful purpose in your lifetime. It feels like ownership of who you are. It feels like ownership over your own choices. And to not let anyone sway you differently because the right people will be by your side. And I'm not just saying that you only need to have yes man around, around you, like people constantly telling you yes and whatever, but it's more so like, I don't know, Sagittarius, it feels like you've been criticized a lot. It feels like some people around you are just very judgmental and you're meant to live your own life your own way. And I feel 2024, you're making those specific choices to do so. And it's working. People, you know, anyone that tried to say, oh, you couldn't do it. Oh, you wouldn't be successful at it. Oh, you need this. You need that. You're proving them wrong through the success of what you're choosing to do that you feel is right for yourself. That's amazing. Okay, let's get into the tarot. Tell me more about 2024 for Sagittarius. My goodness. You guys are starting off with the star card. Wow. So Aquarius energy. And I do feel specifically for some of you guys, especially if you have strong Aquarius in your chart, Aquarius season is going to be big. End of January, early February, you are going to be the most guided around then. And there's going to be one sign that you ask for that is going to be undeniable. There's a lot of healing too. And again, I wonder if some of you, this hot water type of stuff was happening towards the end of 2023. So it's kind of feels a little raw. It still feels a little bit open as far as the pain, but through getting reconnected with yourself, and even if there's a little bit of isolation in the beginning of the year, you're a little bit keeping to yourself. You're connecting with that part of yourself that is meant to shine through. I do feel for some of you guys, um, you will be noticed in early January. Maybe there could be a promotion, recognition for some of you guys with the star card. But it, you know, mostly I just feel like a reconnection with yourself, which will then inspire you to start making these choices you've been putting off or haven't felt confident to do before. Let's keep going. I'm going to get all the cards out first and then we'll do a deep dive. But of course I had to start with the star. That is beautiful energy. Yeah, six of air. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. More Aquarius energy for you guys. Wow, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, some of the choices you're going to make, Sagittarius... It might feel like you're restarting and going back to square one is definitely something sometimes that feels a bit scary and you may start to notice when you are pursuing what you've always wanted to do, not what other people thought of you. Uh, you could be feeling like in the middle of the year, did I make the right choice? Did I make the right decisions? Like the people that used to be around aren't around anymore, but I want you to know, even if you're going through that in the middle of the year specifically, maybe around like July to September, um, I just want to say that this is just the breakdown for the breakthrough. So if you have to kind of, even though you're doing so well at your job, but you're not that happy, and if you wanted to move and 
that would mean quitting your job and you're worried about your finances, spirit will take care of you. And I even think like if there is some sort of job loss or financial troubles in the middle of the year, there is someone helping you out with the messenger of air there, which is kind of, again, that energy I saw in um, my vision. Wow. Okay. Let me clarify all these and then we'll do a deep dive. You're ending the year with temperance, with patience, with understanding, with un like understanding the beauty of surrender here. And again, like just because things aren't happening automatically doesn't mean, doesn't mean the choices that you made are wrong. I'm sorry. I just have to point out the star with the star. Okay. A major blessing that could be coming through a realization that could be coming through your reconnection with spirit, an advanced connection with God. Like there is something that is going to really hit home Sagittarius of this is what I was meant to do. And I know it because spirit is confirming this for me. Spirit is showing it to me. This double star here is undeniable. Okay. Tell me about the six of air for Sagittarius. Tell me about the six of air. Beautiful. Yeah. Five of pentacles for Sagittarius. What about the five of pentacles? Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. A lot of earth and air energy, which is nice to see. I mean, it's all about kind of growth through your finances, growth through your security, but also growth in how you express yourself and how you want to communicate and how you want to show yourself to the world. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So first we have double star here. I mean, like I said, beautiful. Some of you could have a star tattoo. I'm seeing one on someone's neck or someone's wrist, like in the small area type of thing. Yeah, I, I just got to say, like, you guys are definitely having a huge, I'm hearing like come to Jesus moment or just like a big realization about what you've been wanting to do and now is the time to do it. And you are feeling like the love of spirit in the universe around you with the constant bombardment of signs, with your intuition being proven right time and time again, there's something Sagittarius you've always wanted to do. It could even have started from childhood. It could even be like something that you had an idea about the last few years, but the timing didn't feel right until 2024. And that's where I feel like you are feeling confident about making this decision, about making this change, about going a certain path. It feels very spiritual. It feels very um, deeply healing for reconnecting with that side of yourself that has kept a bit hidden. I do even want to say for some of you guys, like a wish could be coming true as far as like you saying, all right, give me a sign if this was meant to be. Give me like the biggest indication that this is where I meant to go, that what I want so badly is truly meant to be in my life. That's when the sign is coming. Definitely January, end of January, or even Aquarius season. Then you have the six of air, which is Aquarius energy with the queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Mm-hmm. So with this movement that you're doing, whether that is, again, pursuing that thing you've always wanted to do, um, being decisive with the changes you want to make and move forward to it, I do feel they're leading to your security or it's around the home, it's around your purpose or even how you make money, how you want to live your life, how you want to be secure within yourself. Lifestyle changes, I feel, with the Six of Swords and Queen of Pentacles energy. And it's really kind of taking care of yourself, I feel, with this combination, Sagittarius, and prioritizing that and being settled with that, being sure of that, grounded in that. And I think even with some of you guys that with the Six of Air energy, 
particularly June for some of you guys, where you may be wanting to do that and move, where you may be wanting to really get the ball rolling or have the opportunity to start taking those first steps proudly, confidently. Um, people are always going to say, damn, Sagittarius is improving. Like people see that you are not so far or not anymore. This person that's just going to shy away from opportunities is just going to, you know, keep silent for, you know, someone else's comfort, keeping someone else's peace. These changes that you are guided to make in 2024 are leading to your ultimate security because you know that is what makes you most grounded. That is what makes you most happy. Some of you guys, definitely around career, okay? Whatever this change is. I also got to say for some of you, um, there could be a queen of pentacles in your life. This does not have to be male or female. We have masculine, feminine energy, but someone that, I don't know, in some ways you may have felt like you had to depend on this person, whether it was through finances or because, um, you know, they've given you support financially in the past. You don't have to rely on that anymore, Sagittarius. And for some of you, I kind of feel like this Queen of Pentacles really kind of just wants to keep you stifled, kind of wants to keep you under their control, feels best when you ask them for help and support for um, money. It feels almost like a parent energy for some of you guys, to be honest here, even like stepfather, stepmother energy, very specifically. And I think you're moving away from the codependency with that, if there is any. Realizing like, even if they're helping me out in finances, even if they are, you know, there to give me a some sort of sense of security, I can provide that for myself. So then we move ahead into five of earth, but clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So again, I feel around the middle of the year, maybe because, you know, the move will be initiated, the changes you've made are starting to really show themselves. Definitely, I feel with the five of Pentacles, there's something that has to be um, taken out of your life, which at first may feel very scary, which at first may feel very insecure, but with the Knight of Pentacles, you will make up for that loss through your own dedication, through your own determination. You will be planting those seeds to regrow a empty nest if you felt like you had to lose something there. And I want to say, Sagittarius, that with this success that is meant to be happening in um, 2024, you have to be dedicated. You have to really keep your eyes on the prize, even in those times where it's like, wow, you know what? And we all go through it. You know, this isn't coming out to show me any success. Like I'm not getting that income. I'm not getting that um, support. Am I doing the right thing? This is something that I feel Sagittarius is so big that it's going to start with baby steps at first before it kind of comes full circle. But by no means does that mean the progress you're doing doesn't mean anything. It's just something that is taking time. Because I feel what you're even starting in 2024 is not only going to be for 2024. It's going to be for much longer than that. And there's just, in 2024, you're at the foundation of it. You're at the first steps of it. And you know, Sagittarius, I just want to say, it could be this Queen of Pentacles or it could be anyone around in your life that wants you to still leave breadcrumbs for them. Maybe Sagittarius, even with the Queen of Pentacles um, that I was picking up on earlier, someone was depending on you a whole lot. And it was taking away from your own resources to do something more um, in alignment with yourself. And so, you know, they may be feeling like you abandoned them. They may be feeling like you cut them out. And they're still looking for your energy to cling on to. But you need to kind of just continue to move forward. Because the seeds you were meant and guided to plant, I'm telling you, Sagittarius is something that's a part of your divine path. Not everyone will understand that, but that's okay. It's not their life, it's yours. 
I'm feeling cold feet too. So I wonder if like someone maybe from a certain change that you're trying to make in the middle of the year may back out and it may kind of feel like you have to search for other business partners or other roommates. That's fine. What didn't follow through wasn't meant to happen. Okay. With that specific person or with that specific situation, anything that doesn't come about, there's something better that you are just with the Knight of Pentacles, if you stay determined and stay focused, are going to clean it up like that. Because after that Five of Pentacles area you're going through in 2024, you have the Messenger of Air. This is Knight of Swords energy, Gemini energy being clarified by the Queen of Cups. You know, again, like some of you that are becoming very close to your spirituality or um, being very close to your spirit guides, your ancestors, you ask for a lot of guidance and certainty. There is going to be someone coming into your life that is sent by spirit, sent by the universe to give you the message, to give you an offer. And it's coming from a sincere place. It's coming from a place that really does care about you, really thinks that you have a lot going on and wants to support you in that way. So some of you with that new person, definitely around like September and October, you may be meeting them. They speak their mind. They're very upfront, but they never use their words to hurt. Not with the Queen of Cups here. What advice they're giving you for someone that you're meeting this person in is something that is truly meaning to help you along the way. And I would trust this person. And I kind of feel with this messenger of air and queen of cups for some of you guys, um, this could be someone that is a friend or even a romantic partner that you guys are in complete sync with. You understand each other. You pick up on things um, from each other very psychically, intuitively, telepathically. And that's something I feel um, will be very apparent when you meet this person already as if you guys know each other very profoundly. And others of you, yeah, I think if this is not even anyone in your 3D world, it's your spirit guides giving you the messages to pick yourself up again, to have hope in this again. And, you know, as you kind of get that pick me up, then there'll be an email, then there'll be a text, then there'll be a phone call that puts you back on the right track again. But even something where again, like, it may have looked shaky with the five of pentacles, but something comes in right after that, that shows, you know, you were right, Sagittarius in pursuing this, you were right with what you were feeling of what you were picking up on intuitively. And it's going to help you really confirm that your intuition is powerful. So now we get into temperance, which is Sagittarius energy, also Libra energy for me as a reader personally. And I just feel like, okay, by the end of the year, things are going to settle. And there are things where it may be, you know, especially around whatever career you're looking at around the holiday times, it could always be a bit busy or a bit silent. But in that silence does not mean that there's nothing going on. In that silence means this is a time now to take care of myself, to kind of reevaluate all that I've been through and to look back at what I've been through and how I made 2024 kind of start to unfold and see if there's anything else that I want to reevaluate. I want to kind of either consider adding to the mix or taking out of the mix of my life. Because, yeah, I just feel full circle, you'll kind of hit star energy again in beginning of 2025. But this is clarified by the devil, okay? Capricorn energy. I feel Sagittarius. Again, whether for some of you it was that Queen of Pentacles that was trying to hold on is like really seeing that you are on your own and you're doing well. And I feel like when people want us still in their lives where we're at a different vibration because they're not willing to take the steps, they're not willing to do the work. That's when they try to cling on the hardest. 
And I do feel Sagittarius that, um, you know, with temperance and the devil here, this is going to be a major lesson at the end of the year of finally closing out some karmic cycle within your life, surrendering, not just acting out of it because you need to people please, because you need to, um, I don't know, with this devil energy, it just very much feels like something that I need to prove, something I need to prove. I mean, you're already going to do that through your success. And really, Sagittarius, you have nothing to prove. All you have to do is really focus on your well-being. And that's enough. Anyone that demands you to prove something is a red flag of knowing that they're not on your team. They're not on your side. And so I do feel for a lot of you guys at the end of the year, it's coming to a major decision about a certain someone that wants to keep toxic relations, toxic patterns with you, wants to kind of still continue that cycle because that's what feels comfortable for them. But, you know, with temperance Sagittarius, I almost wonder if some of you guys have to go in no contact with this person towards the end of the year. All right, tell me more about 2024 for Sagittarius. Tell me more about 2024 for Sagittarius. Take action, yes. Here's your message, here's your star card energy, here's your major confirmation is yes. And it says, whatever your question, this is telling you to go for it. Do not procrastinate or wait to take the next step to get ahead. Just do it. Nothing will change if you don't take action. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. So this is definitely for those of you guys that need to hear this during the beginning of the year to start getting these steps going. Because yeah, this is something that once you get started, it's going to build momentum. And yes, it's going to take time. Yes, there's some things that have to get out of the way so this can come in full circle. But I feel by the end of the year, even by, you know, overcoming this devil energy, really seeing that how far you've come from being in a different vibration you were in before, like, it's going to have significant impact around the influence even that people are starting to see you from. And, um, you know, I almost feel with this temperance and the devil, like someone that has caused you so much pain in 2023. I mean, a year from now, they're going to be apologizing. They're going to try to reel you back in from seeing how well you've been doing by proving them wrong. You again, not that you have to, but clearly with what's going on, you will be. And um, I think Sagittarius, that's something for you to keep in mind of is you know, are they really here for me because of who I am and what I do? Or are they here for me because of my success? Because I don't mess with them like that anymore. They're not a part of my inner circle anymore. Don't let anyone take you back to that level of where you were before this. I don't know. I, I, I'm channeling here. So some things are coming out kind of. Um, in a different timeline almost, but just right now, Sagittarius, spirit wants to confirm a big yes for you on any major decision, anything that you felt was always your purpose, always something you wanted to do. Here's your confirmation big time. Tell me more about 2024 for Sagittarius. guys are getting like an exception letter something along those lines or like a contract that someone wants you to sign with that yes type of thing um tell me more for Sagittarius there we go clarity yeah a lot of clarity is going to bless your life and I feel more so than anyone else telling you anything it's what you gain within yourself by reconnecting with yourself, by honoring yourself, by realizing that there's so much I still want to do and can do. Anyone or anything that I felt before that was trying to dissuade me does not have that power anymore. Only I could be my own cheerleader in moving forward. Yes, spirit will guide me, 
but I have to take the first step. And I feel that's around a lot of the clarity that you're getting, Sagittarius, in 2024. And also, just one after the other, your intuition being confirmed correct again, 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 right? But it says, banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. See, I didn't even need to read that. But look, like, I just feel you guys, whatever has been kind of making you disillusioned about your purpose, disillusioned about who you are and what you're meant to be, that is clearing away as you start to connect with that inner self of you. Uh, you know, again, I wonder if some of you guys kind of grew up around controlling people, people that, um, you know, projected a lot onto you. So when you're kind of in that environment, it really does make you second guess yourself because when you try to start doing something your own that someone doesn't want you to do, they just, you know, disregard you or shut you down. And I feel a lot of you guys are overcoming that certain mental block that you've had for a long time around not trusting your feelings, not trusting your gut, not listening to your intuition. It's actually a lot more powerful than what most have. I want to tell you, Sagittarius. But that's what you're coming to find out in 2024 through all that is happening. And look at that. This fairy here is kind of like above a dragon. What's coming for the Chinese New Year is Year of the Dragon. And I feel like that's the year of your empowerment, Sagittarius. That's the year that you are standing out and you are making decisions through your own trust of yourself. And it's just, yeah, just so much that you didn't see before. You're going to see, wow. I really had it all along. I really could do this. Tell me more. Who's guiding Sagittarius? What message do you have for Sagittarius for 2024 spirit? The Miram. And it says, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Wow. Okay, this is big time, even with temperance and the devil. So whether this person comes back or again, because you've been silent, you felt that still that energy around you, the resentment of, you know, I couldn't get Sagittarius to do what I want or, um, you know, Sagittarius abandoned me, Sagittarius left me. Um, you know, Sagittarius, I hate to be... Uh, corny, I guess is the right word, but truly it's just showing you how much hurt this person has and how even this person's hurt consciously or subconsciously was trying to keep you at a level that you never belonged in, that you were never meant to stay in. And even that for some people or some situations, you do all that you can, Sagittarius, yet if they're not willing to take the effort to meet you halfway, all you can do is just let go. I think, you know, this person relies a lot on you, but you are meant to kind of maybe through your example of having boundaries of um, keeping space is showing them, you know, what they need to kind of start considering in their lives that they wouldn't have considered if you were constantly around. And even with this card saying love has no boundaries, I'm not saying like, or I don't feel this message is meant to come through as like um, having boundaries is a bad thing or, you know, you meant to block out, but it means that like the forgiveness and the level of healing that you can have on yourself and others is boundless. And even if you can't do it verbally, even if you can't make amends in the way you hoped it, you can still kind of just let go and say, you know what, this person's hurt. I have compassion for them. I send, you know, high vibrational love their way, but I am not the one that's meant to heal them. They have to do that on their own. And I feel like through your empowerment, through your healing, that you're doing Sagittarius in 2024 is going to be that example for others. Some will be on the same page. Some will want to be inspired to heal. Some, you know, maybe that's just not their journey this lifetime. But I got to say, you are an inspiration. You are someone that is setting the example. And your tribe is going to come into your life and you'll know. 
who is meant to stay and who is meant to go. The tiger lily is um, very prominent for some of you guys out there. Um, if you know the spiritual message or meaning of tiger lily, feel free to comment below. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get one more card. Is there anything else Sagittarius needs to know about this reading, about their 2024 of empowerment, of enlightenment? Any last minute messages for Sagittarius spirit? Helpers, yep, help is on the way. Help is on the way. Through the 3D, through the 5D, you will be guided. Look at all those horses in the field there. You will find your tribe, Sagittarius. Okay, anything that is lost or anything that had, you know, as the result of your changing life fall away, it will be replaced. But it says, listen to the call of spirit leading you to a new way. Oh my God. Greater freedom is energizing you from the inside. You may have been feeling anxious, wondering if you'll be able to figure out the next step you need to take when an opening arises. Recognize this as a moment of initi initiation before you encounter forward momentum again. New friends and helpers will find their way to you through the law of love and will equip you with the tools and resources you'll need. Courageous soul, as you remain open and receptive to their knowledge and wisdom, honoring your own truth and experience, your pathway will be uncovered. You will emerge wiser and sure of who you are and what you are willing to stand for. So yeah, I just feel this is just the beginning with 2024 and you're making some big moves, some money moves even Sagittarius, but you know, this is a long journey for you and I'm happy you're taking the first steps or will be feel so empowered to do so because I feel this is long lasting for the rest of your life, not just 2024. But yeah, you're taking the first steps and Spirit's proud of you and I'm proud of you for that. But I can't wait to see what unfolds. Thank you so, so much, Sagittarius, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you, gave you plenty of confirmations, clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what's happening in 2024 for you. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Sagittarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Sagittarius.